Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, November 25th, 2014. I want you to review really quickly the Center for New American Security, otherwise known as CNAS. If you're not familiar with this organization, <clears throat> it might behoove you to visit their website at cnas.org because this is where all of your military and defense and national security personnel come from. This is where all policy comes from. And more scary, uh, this is where some of the technology that's going to be coming out may be coming from. Now, as you're aware, uh, Secretary of uh, Defense Hagel has been fired, and there will be a new appointment shortly. It should be no surprise that the CEO of CNAS, Michelle Florney, will be tapped for that position. It's no coincidence she's also the CEO. And just take a quick look at the executive board. Who's on it? Goldman Sachs? Lockheed Martin? Armitage? DOD? And some of the top advisors include Harvard, oops, sorry, Harvard University, Duke University, Boeing, Ford Motor Company, oh, and Rand. I'll go into more detail about this organization in a later video, but just real quickly, take a look at something they're looking at. Autonomous Weapon Systems, otherwise known as laws because they are that's the acronym for lethal autonomous weapon systems so if we check it out what is that laws are weapon systems that once activated can select and engage targets without further human intervention also known as without a human in the loop it's different from drones today where humans are responsible for firing the weapons against any target like a drone uh, the one paragraph that makes me concerned is this one right here. Laws, which is the weapon system, generally do not exist today. Read that sentence again. Look at this word. Generally do not exist means they do exist. They're just not generally used. Heads up, guys.